So as we predicted a little while ago, Wolves would dip into the transfer market a little bit after the World Cup is finished and that seems to be the case. Wolves very heavily heavily linked with the signing of João Moutinho from Monaco today. Uh, there was a tweet that went out last night from everybody's favourite Portuguese person, Nicolas Alec, who's a friend of Rui Patricio reportedly and he got everything spot on with that deal. And then tweeted yesterday that there was going to be a similar massive signing um, and a friend of Rui's. Now that appears to be uh, João Moutinho, who's a centre midfielder, a very similar sort of player to Ruben Neves. So uh, Tim Spears in his column ex explained it more like um, having Lennon and McCartney, two similar genres of footballer rather than having Lemmy and Taylor Swift that we've had this season with Ndai and uh, Ruben Neves sort of and I think it could work in the uh, in the Premier League you could have two you could have a bit a bit more space there's a bit less um, uh, you know tough matches where they're going to be battered and kicked from pillar to post uh, so it could work well I think the Premier League has changed since we were last there as well there's less sort of like big centre midfield as you think back to when we first got promoted back in 2003 I remember the game between Wolves and Arsenal when they had Patrick Vieira up against Alex Ray and Colin Cameron and it was a complete mismatch you know in midfield and we got battered in that area of the pitch I think it's a little bit less like that nowadays and I think that we could get away with having two stylish uh, creative players there in the midfield. Think about the experience that he's got as well, over 100 caps for Portugal is an enormous amount of caps and hopefully that sort of balance now between experience and youth and legs uh, across the squad will provide some really exciting uh, football across the season. There are other deals that are reportedly nearly finished. Johnny, who is a fullback, he's going to be signed by Atletico Madrid and then loaned immediately to us, is the, is the rumour there. João Mario as well from uh, Inter Milan is also a possibility but I think if João Moutinho is coming in I think that means that Mario will probably not come in uh, as a result of that. I feel like we need another striker as well or another attacking player. Uh, Rumours are that Rashford could be a possible option there and if you consider the sort of uh, homegrown element that we need to have in the squad next season that could be fill that sort of quota as well and as well as some quite tenuous links I think although the odds have gone down from something like 20 or 30 to 1 to 5 to 1 on Yeri Mina the uh, Colombian centre-back from Barcelona he would be an amazing sign I think as, alongside uh, Bolly and maybe Cody I'm, I'm a little bit unsure of, as to what is going to happen in terms of the uh, defence at the moment but having I haven't really had the chance to watch Wolves much this pre-season so far, but I am going to Stoke and Derby next week and Villarreal the following week. So I hope to see a little bit more of some of the newer players and see the sort of style of play and how it's developed perhaps over uh, pre-season since the end of the season. Certainly transfer dealings are starting to begin now and I'll be very, very interested to see how many players will sign this week. Let me know in the comments down below how you feel about Jean Moutinho and how many other players do you think Wolves need to bring in before the start of the season. Uh, I think there was a bit of panic last week on Twitter about Wolves haven't signed anybody but now if you think about Patricio's come in, Moutinho's coming in for a £5 million fee as well and there's a lot of bigger teams that have been interested in for a long time and some people might say oh 31 years old he's getting on a little bit if you think about how long Gerard played for at the top level Frank Lampard Paul Scholes Xavi Iniesta it's sort of you can carry on for a little bit longer at the top of your game in that centre midfield role particularly if you're going to sit deep which I think he will um, I think it's a very very exciting time at the moment and it's difficult to predict where Wolves are going to finish but I'll do a video in a couple of weeks time about that um, but yeah very very happy I think with that with the rumours today and let's let's hope that it all goes through well thank you very much for watching don't forget to drop a like subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I'll see you on Wednesday if not tomorrow for a little review of the Stoke game if you are there as well come say hello bye bye